Hello there everyone and welcome back for part 6 of my PV County Map Factory Review and Tutorial Series where I'll be showing you how to build the factories on this map, the resources needed to build them, and the order they should be built in. Today we're going to be focusing on orchards, greenhouses, bots, and the farmers market. So let's take a look. Okay guys, so as you can see I have all my greenhouses and all my orchards set up. There's 10 of each item. We're not going to be filling these all up, but I'm going to be working on one orchard and one greenhouse to just show you how exactly this works. So first, let's go over to the shop. I'll show you where these are located. Under placeables, there's your orchards right there. There's 10 different orchard items. We have apples, apricots, bananas, cherries, coconuts, olives, oranges. There is the bot I'm going to show you in a little bit. The bot is only used for the orchard items. We have peaches, pears, plums and that is 10. Then our greenhouses are located just below that. Double click on that. We have cauliflower, cucumbers, lettuce, mushrooms, pumpkins, raspberries, red cabbage, strawberries, tomatoes, and watermelon. So 10 of those. And all these need the same ingredients, guys. We need pallets from our pallet factory. We're going to need lime, herbicide, dry fertilizer, water, and compost. That's for every one of these, including the orchard items. So it can be a little tricky when you're setting these up to get them perfectly lined up, but I didn't do too bad of a job. They're a little bit staggered there, but overall not too bad. The pallets for the greenhouses will have to be dropped off in the back. And the orchards over here are all set up. All your ingredients are just put in the front. So let's go on over here and I'll show you that I have everything lined up here ready to roll out. So we have a herbicide, dry fertilizer, compost, lime, water and pallets so six different items there let's go ahead and we'll start filling these up start with our herbicide first so like i said i won't be filling these all up i'm just going to work on one of each because all of them work the same way so we'll start with our herbicide here so these don't hold a lot. Let's put that in. Yeah, look at that. It only holds 8,000 liters, so not bad. Then we'll just drive across the street here. And this takes the same amount. Okay. And continue on with some water. So the orchards and the greenhouses don't have to be built, they just you just put them down and fill them with the resources needed to get them going. Water it'll hold a little bit more of. I think it holds fifty thousand liters of water. Yeah. And look at that, I just have enough left to fill my other one. So this tanker is perfect for getting too fully filled. That'll do it for our water. Let's pull this guy to the side now. And here's our pallets. So we'll have to split these up between the two of them because I don't have a whole lot of pallets made. I get 18 here, so I will put nine in each one. I'll try to. Okay, that's pretty close actually. Let's just go with that. Let's pick these back up. So 10 and 8. Pretty close. So it might be a better idea to leave yourself a little bit of space if you want to drive in between these. I didn't leave myself much room, but this is just a demonstration anyway. Okay. 
Okay, let's put them in there. And the rest over there. Okay. So there's our pallets. We'll pull this guy to the side for now and work on our next item. We have some fertilizer here. Ready to roll. And there's our fertilizer drop off. Like I said, it won't hold a whole lot. That's it, right there. But that's fine. It takes a while to go through that, too. Okay, let's pull you to the side. We'll grab our next ingredient which is compost. Twenty five thousand liters of compost. Okay, we're almost done here. Everything got the nice digital displays on it. See our production started up there. We're still gonna get our lime in there though, but you can see the sprayers are on. And our lime. Okay, so we'll get some more lime in our greenhouse over here. Cauliflower and apples. So just all the other greenhouses is just rinse and repeat. Okay, so production is underway. We have all our ingredients put in there. Now we just gotta wait for production to begin. And we'll probably do a time lapse to get to make that uh, go a little faster. Now you're not going to see anything spawn here as they're being made until you come over to the little apple sign on your orchards, and then press your uh, R key. But I don't. You can see everything's beautifully lit up at night here. Very nice. Okay, we're going to stop it right around there. We should have enough product to start spawning stuff out. So what you're going to want to do with the orchards when it is time to pick up your fruit is come on over to the apple orchard sign. There we go. Okay, so there's apple production right there are our apples. We're going to maximize that 66 pallets now these are all micro pallets guys I'm gonna explain this as I go along how the bots work but you can't pick up these pallets here they got to be pushed into these little bunkers up here and they'll stockpile in there in bigger boxes then you can go ahead and pick them up so we're gonna spawn 66 and as you can see they're all lined up there they all got to be pushed up here and that's what the bots going to do so you don't have to do it we get another line here and we have another line here so let's go over to the shop we're going to go under orchards and there's our orchard bot right there let's go ahead and purchase that we're going to zoom right in here okay you want to set this up right so when you look at the bot you can see there's a little box behind the bot. You want that facing out because it has two buttons on it. You can just barely see the two buttons, but that's how you're going to activate it. And see the little line in the front there? That's what you're going to want to, that's what's going to uh, line up and push your pallets in there. So let's put that down. I just want to make sure I'm lined up here good enough, but that should be good. Let's put that there and then rinse and repeat for the other two. Now you're going to have to do this to all of them guys. 
Let's put that there. And we'll put him right there. So hopefully when I push this button, it's going to go ahead and push that all in there. It is slow moving, guys. Just be patient. So push her on. So hit the left mouse button and watch this. So these might mess up. Just be kind of careful what you're, uh, how you set these up, guys. Because you want that pushing directly in. So what that's going to do is push that all the way up into there. And then reset. It's going to come back. So as these go in there, bigger boxes are going to appear over here. And they're the ones that you're going to be able to pick up. So while that's moving, we'll go over and start up our next bot. Push her on. Push her on. Okay. Did you stop? Oh, they're moving so slow, I just get, get mixed up there a bit. But I guess you want it moving slow, because if it didn't, it would probably mess them up pretty bad. But you can see them going in there. And eventually we'll get some over here. Just hopefully the boxes won't come undone for you. Just make sure you line that up. Like that little line that's in front, make sure that's pretty in line with the uh, front of the crate there. And you shouldn't have any problems. Once it pushes all them in, it'll reset and uh, go back to its starting point. Now that will reset right now, and he starts heading back home. And there we go, just about 33,000 liters of apples, and they're all on their way back home. So let's go ahead and we'll fast forward time to see if any of these will appear here. There they go. Slow it down again. So you can see these boxes are way bigger than the other ones. There's all our apples. 15% full. And hit the spawn button. And the apples from there are going to appear right on out here. 10 pallets at a time. Just set your auto load trailer for regular pallets. And you should be able to pick them up. So you should get 20 of them, I'm pretty sure. So you can see we're on regular size pallets. Let's hit our auto load there and we'll see if we can spawn out any more. Yeah, you gotta spawn them out from over here. Sorry guys. Six pallets. That's it for now. Till more are made. So yeah, you're, right here is where you're gonna wanna spawn the smaller ones that you use your bots to push. And then once you wanna get them, you, you can spawn them out here. I was trying to get my flatbed trailer in there first. But you can actually spawn them right here, guys. Make life easier on yourselves. Okay, so let's go over and we'll grab the rest of our apples. And we'll take them over to the farmer's market, which they're going to sell over time. But I will demonstrate that in a moment because we're going to move on to the uh, greenhouse items. Okay, on to the greenhouse. We're going to go ahead and collect some cauliflower. So you're just going to come up here, guys. Hit the arrow key when you're inside. Go to cauliflower, we're going to maximize that, 30 pallets, I do believe that's it for now. And you can see production kicked up again, and there's all our nice cases of cauliflower. So let's go ahead and pick them up. We should be on regular pallets, let's go ahead and activate that. Yeah, so not regular, medium guys, my bad for the... Uh, for the greenhouse items. Will they double stack? No, we got 18 on there, which is fine. Very nice. So like I said, just rinse and repeat for the rest of your greenhouse and orchard items. Each one you're gonna have to put down three bots in your orchard. Okay, let's move on to the farmer's market.
Okay guys, so you can see I have my farmer's market set up here. This is not a small placeable guys. You will need quite a bit of room to lay this down. But you can sell just more than your orchard and your greenhouse items. You can also sell your bales. There's your orchard items. Earth fruits. You have your greenhouse items there. Pallets. I'll show you where this is located. Right under here, sell points. Just go ahead and click on that. There is the farmer's market that works with all them items right there. And look at the size of it, guys. Like, fits on this field pretty good, almost. But yeah, it's pretty big, so leave yourself lots of room to uh, put that down. And it's going to cost you almost $200,000. And the items in here, guys, are going to sell over time. They won't sell instantly. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our cauliflower. We'll bring it over to the farmer's market. Activate our auto load. So remember, these are medium pallets. Okay, greenhouse products. Let's go ahead and fire that in there. You should see them uh, appear in those little stables there. You can see them appearing over there, actually. Go take a look at that in a second. Right on over here. So they'll start selling them at these little uh, these little vendors. We'll start selling them for you. So that's just a fantastic little idea. I love that. Okay, let's go grab our apples. Okay, I do believe the I'm gonna try the medium, but I think these are small. Oh no, they work on medium too. I think you can just fit more if you put it on small that's fine for now let's get them over across the street so that's pretty cool okay let's put in our orchard items and we'll see where they appear oh did they ever go in fast holy moly there they are down there here we can see our little apple stand down here how cool is that guys look at that how you doing buddy selling my apples oh they look like good apples too look we got some more over here very cool so there you go guys hopefully that gives you a little bit better of an understanding how the orchards and the greenhouses work on this map as well as the bots and the farmers market if you enjoyed today's episode maybe you can leave a like down below and if you're new to the channel why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, then hit the subscribe button and the bell, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel. It really helps out. So, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.